when you create a new PowerPoint slide, you are given the option of selecting the slide layout from a wide selection of auto layout options. From the new slide dialog box, a variety of layout options can be explored. You can select any layout for a new slide. There are various methods by which you can add new slides to a presentation. By clicking on the insert option in the menu bar to display a drop down menu and select the new slide option. By pressing the Ctrl plus M key combination on the keyboard. By clicking on the new slide icon on the standard toolbar. All of these methods will display the new slide dialog box. A brief description of the selected layout appears at the bottom right hand corner of the dialog box. After selecting the layout, press the enter key or click on the OK button in the dialog box to create a new slide. The new slide dialog box is also displayed when the user first begins to create a new presentation. In this dialog box, the title slide layout is the auto layout that is selected by default. Out of the many layouts displayed, the title slide layout is the simplest slide layout, text boxes for adding titles and subtitles. Select the title text box by double clicking with the mouse. Now you can add text to the title box. You can add a new line in the text box by pressing the shift plus enter keys on the keyboard. To add a new paragraph, just press the enter key. To move from the title text box to the subtitle text box, press the Ctrl plus Enter key combination on the keyboard or directly click on the subtitle text box. In the bulleted list layout, two types of text boxes are available, title text box and bullet text box. The title text box can be used to add a title for the slide while the bullet text box can be used to add text in the bulleted form. You can move from the title box to the bullet box by pressing the Ctrl plus Enter key combination. You can also directly click on the subtitle text box. Most people use the slide layout as it is useful for presenting the main points within a presentation. In order to enter bulleted text, click inside the Click to Add Text section of the layout. You can now enter text for the first bulleted point. Pressing the Enter key on the keyboard moves the cursor to the next bullet point. You can then type in the text for the second bullet point. To indent or demote a bullet point to the next level, press the Tab key on the keyboard. Or you can also click on the Demote icon provided on the formatting toolbar. The two column text layout is useful for presenting the two sides of an argument. One column can be used for the positive side of the argument, while the second column can be used for the negative side. This two column text auto layout has three sections labeled, click to add title, click to add text and click to add text. You have to click on the appropriate section, type in the text and press the enter key. The table layout is used to create slides containing tables. This layout contains two sections, one for adding a title and the other for adding a table. On double clicking on the table icon, appearing in the slide, a dialog box titled Insert Table will be displayed. Here you can enter the number of rows and columns for the table and the table will be created accordingly. Text and chart auto layout is used to create slides containing charts as well as bulleted text. This auto layout has three sections, one for adding the title, one for adding text and one for adding charts. The title and text can be added in the same way as in the previous auto layouts. You can add a chart by double clicking on the chart icon. The Organization Chart Auto Layout allows you to create slides containing organization charts. This auto layout has two sections, one for adding the title and the other for inserting the organization chart. The organization chart can be included within the slide by double clicking on the chart icon. This slide layout allows you to create slides containing clip art. This type of auto layout contains three sections 
one for entering the title, another for inserting text, and a third for inserting a clip art. The clip art can be included in the slide by double clicking on the clip art icon. In the clip art and text type layout, a clip art as well as a set of bulleted points can be included in the slide. This layout contains three sections, one for adding the title, one for the clip art and one for the text. A clip art can be selected from the clip gallery and inserted in the slide. A graphical clip art can be used to make a point, add some humor or illustrate a topic in the presentation. Also, adding graphics brings some liveliness and color to the presentation. The blank auto layout provides a blank slide with no preformatted text or objects fields. The auto content wizard can be started in one of the following ways. When you open PowerPoint initially or from an already opened PowerPoint presentation. When you open PowerPoint for the first time, it displays a dialog box titled PowerPoint. This dialog box gives you options to either create a new presentation or to open an existing presentation. Under the Create a New Presentation section, there are three options available. Auto Content Wizard, Design Template, Blank Presentation. Choose the Auto Content Wizard option and click on the OK button. The Auto Content Wizard dialog box will be displayed. Now click on Next to move to the second dialog box. But if PowerPoint has already been opened, then to open the Auto Content Wizard you have to First click on the File option in the Standard menu bar. Then select New from the drop down menu that is displayed. The New Presentation dialog box will appear. Select the Auto Content Wizard from the General tabbed page. Click on the OK button to start the Auto Content Wizard dialog box. Finally, click on the Next button to move to the next page of the wizard. After starting the Auto Content Wizard, the next step will be to select the type of presentation that you wish to create. The Auto Content Wizard dialog box has six types of presentations from which you can make a selection. There are six options provided which list the different kinds of presentations you might want to create. All, General, Corporate, Project, Sales or Marketing, Carnage Coach. If the option All is selected, then a list of the types of presentations available will be displayed and you can use the scroll bar to move down the list and select the type you want. It should be noted that all the six options displayed here may or may not be installed on a particular system, in which case the user may be prompted to insert the Microsoft Office installation CD-ROM. Once the presentation type has been chosen, you will be prompted to decide as to how you will use the presentation once it has been created. Thus, in this step, you will have to decide what type of output will be suitable for your presentation. The five different options provided are as follows. On-screen presentation, web presentation, black and white overheads, color overheads, 35 mm slides. You can click on the appropriate radio button to choose any one of these options. Then click on the next button to continue with the wizard. In this step of the wizard, you can enter a title name for the presentation and can also specify the items that are to be included on the slides, such as footer, date last updated and slide number. Click on the next tab to proceed with the auto content wizard. This is the last step of the wizard and if you wish to modify any of the options you have specified so far, click on the back button and modify them. Click on the Finish button to complete the Auto Content Wizard. After this, you need to open the slides and use the guidelines provided to modify the content to meet your requirements.